Hello guys. It's really sad in Australia right now. As I'm sure many of you would know, there is so many fires going on. We are the country on fire, literally. It's a catastrophic burning all over Australia. So I am... Um, I have never had asthma in my life before ever, but I think I'm um, feeling a lot of the effects of the smoke and my I've just gotten really sick from the smoke. If you guys haven't heard of it, I'll leave links down below for you guys to donate to any charities because there are so many people that have lost their homes, lost lives, lost all their belongings, but also there is so many animals in the wildlife that have lost lives, their homes as well. So there are just so many charities that um, we can donate to. So I'll make sure I leave that down below towards the end of the year we've got a lot of campaigns going on um, for my channels so we've got lots of things here at the moment um, so just don't mind the mess but I actually wanted to do an unboxing with you guys because I got a bunch of stuff from Charles and Keith which I love Charles and Keith handbags and shoes they have such nice stuff so I want to do a little unboxing here for you guys I might set the camera up on the floor I received the box today so I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys this could be a bit of fun before Christmas um, in case you guys are looking for Christmas ideas because I actually with the black sales actually was really inspired by a lot of things that people were getting for other people so I wanted to start showing you guys a bit more of the stuff that I'm getting so that you may have ideas for presents and things like that as well cute look at this handbag it's like a little tote like a mini mini tote bag um, and it's just magnetic cute and it's got the long strap as well thought this would be just a really cute little crossbody handbag to have for the festive season. So I got a few shoes and a few handbags. So these ones are so divine. Look at that. It's a really classy cut shoe. Got a beautiful buckle there. Um, and it is that beautiful turquoise emerald green with, with that really silky sort of reflective fabric. So I will be wearing these for sure to a lot of events and things coming up during the Christmas period. It's beautiful. Can I quickly just interject here? My feet have lots of blisters on them from when I was in Singapore and I was wearing really high heels. So don't judge the cuts on my feet, please. This one is a plain little bag. This one's far smaller, especially on nights where your outfits are super, your outfits are the ones that you want to really speak loudly. And you don't want you want to have a really simple basic bag this one is such a cute little accessory so, clearly my trend here is black oh my god I love these just a plain black pair of heels really delicate super classy Again, I'll try them on and I'll overlay me trying them on here so you guys can see how they look on. The heel is really cool as well. It's like connected in a really interesting way. My voice is just slowly, I'm losing it. I went to a few events this morning and it's just deteriorating on me because I've been talking to people all day. It's hard. These ones are a little bit more of a fancy option, but again, just sticking with the plain black heel. I think that the buckle just makes it really fancy. Adds like a nice element to it. Yeah, they're really cute. Just a nice other standard pair of heels. Love the ones that have the straps that go around the ankles. I find it really flattering on the leg. And then we have one more bag as well. I'm going to be a set. A really classy shape. You can again add the... You can add the strap as well. So you, if you want it to be crossbody or just like a normal bag. But I pictured this one to be a little bit more of just a clutch to wear. Um, nights out to events. I have to use this with Kira Kira. That's the app if you ever see people with sparkles all over the um, videos and stuff. That's usually this Kira Kira. And I cannot wait to wear it this season. We are going to start putting up some Christmas decorations in the house tonight. Daisy often works at night time and me and Nick work during the day so we rarely get a chance to all be together to like cook dinner together in the house. <laughs> Nolly wants to say hey. Hello. Do you have your ball? Oh! <laughs> Alright, it's a few hours later. I'm just packing up in the office. 
Um, I filmed my other haul for PP and uh, I'm not feeling so well. Yeah, I am not feeling so well, so I'm going to take it easy tonight. I've done a bit of editing, but I think I'm just going to call it a day. Yum. We've both got a cutting station. <laughs> That's Daisy's on zucchini. <laughs> I'll do the capsicum and carrot. Softening up the veggies before we put them in the oven. Yes. Get the guac. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Guacamole. I just do lime juice. Bit of onion, salt, pepper, avocado, and coriander. Hi, lovely. How are you today? Uh, Nala, sit down. Sit. Good girl. Right, movie night with the squad. Mothers and daughters, husbands and wives, boyfriends, girlfriends. I've got a sneaky feeling you'll find that love actually is all around. It's a little tree. <laughs> it's literally 2 p.m. and it's like, looks like dusk outside. It's like super orange. It's really scary, but we're just taking it easy this afternoon. Um, I went on my stories and said, is anyone else in Sydney feeling the same or anyone else in general feeling the same? And I got so many messages of people being like, I'm sick, I've got tonsillitis. I've got a sore throat, everything like that. Everyone sounds like a smoker. Yeah, the smoke in Sydney is like smoking a full pack of cigarettes in, in one day. Liz has put the tinsel up and that's our little Christmas tree. And it seems that every time I start a bloody vlog I get sick. <laughs> it's not ideal. Nikki's home, Nali. Hello. Hello, Cheeky. Oh, yeah. Nala. What are you doing? We are gonna uh, sit at home now and we ordered a fish bowl. My US first one, I got fish bowl with the salmon. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna watch billions. Hey Nick. I thought I would continue on this vlog because I'm feeling a little bit better. I've been sort of out of action for the last few days over this weekend and I'm feeling so much better today. So I'm really excited. For next, for next week, for a fresh week, I'm just sitting here having some avo toast. Um, we went out for breakfast this morning with my family, took the dogs for a walk, um, and we're gonna continue this Christmas spirit because at my parents' house here we have all of our baubles and we're gonna set up the tree later on. So I'm still my food as always, aren't you? Would you be cheeky? We also spent yesterday doing new TikToks, just Nick and I. We are so obsessed with it. Like, it's actually a joke, we're really addicted. My screen time went up on my phone probably 30% this week because I've just been scrolling through TikTok. Where is mom and dad? Um, I think upstairs. Okay guys, we're gonna set up the Christmas tree. That's probably not very good lighting. Let's set it up over here. It's not even my house, but I'm excited to do this. Are you gonna put it up in here? I am wearing my dad's shorts. Um, so we're thinking our color scheme is going to be, what are we thinking? Gold. Red, red, gold, and silver. Putting the tree up, Mum. Oh, nice. Mum, how should we configure it? Like, like in layers, like circular layers. If I tell you, I have to kill you because there's a certain way that I've done it for 40 years. But no, no do what you like. Mum, how do you do it? Like a nice big ones you can clean out, but then you can fill in yeah, under it and kind of fills, fills the gaps.
drive down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me I'm just gonna prepare some dinner now for the fam Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Oh, a Merry Christmas Day Oh, oh. we're chasing snowflakes as they're falling down Santa's 